Here we have the same robotic arm from the previous problem in a different configuration. We're told that theta is 30 degrees and that C lies on the x-axis. We want to move the end effector C along that x-axis in the negative direction at one foot per second. And we're asked, at this instant, what are the angular velocities omega AB and omega BC that will cause that end effector at C to move in the direction at the speed we want. So let's start with what we know. So we know that VA equals zero. We know that VC is gonna be minus one feet per second in the I hat. And we know that R B with respect to A is going to be three feet cos 30 i hat plus sine 30 j hat. We don't know what RCB is yet. We have to uh, do a bit of geometry for that. We also want to assume directions for our two angular velocities. You can assume them in either direction and the math will tell you if you're right. If it's positive, then you were right. And if it's the scalar is negative, then you had to have the opposite direction. I like assuming mine are positive because that seems to be simpler. So I'm gonna write omega AB and omega BC like that. And we'll write them out as omega AB the vector is omega AB the scalar in the k hat direction and omega BC the vector is a positive omega BC the scalar in the k hat direction. Again, it doesn't matter which you assume, you just have to be consistent because the math will work out for you. Okay, so we need to find that value of R BC. So we're gonna do a little geometry. We're gonna draw, this is 30 degrees, this is three feet, this is two feet. Uh, with 30 degrees, that means the common side of those two triangles is 1.5 feet. And we can see that two feet sine phi is 1.5 feet. Therefore, phi is 48.6 degrees. So we can write out our RC with respect to B is two cos 48.6 in the I hat minus sine 48.6 in the J hat feet. Great, so now we have all of our knowns and all of our assumed vectors and we can move forward to solve. So just like in the last problem, we're starting at A and looking at the velocity of B and then go stepwise from B to C and then put it all together to find our final value. So we start with the equation VB equals VA plus omega AB cross RB with respect to A. VA we know is zero because it's pinned. So now we have an expression for VB. Next we'll find VC. That equals VB plus omega BC cross RC with respect to B. We can sub in what we know for VB. So this expression becomes omega AB cross RB with respect to A plus omega BC cross RC with respect to B. And now we're gonna sub in the vectors that we know for this expression. Okay, so on the left-hand side, we know VC is negative one feet per second in the I hat direction. And that's gonna to equal to omega AB the scalar, we don't know what that value is in the K hat direction, crossed with three cos 30 I hat plus three sine 30 J hat. And then we're gonna have omega 
BC, the scalar in the k-hat direction, crossed with 2 cos 48.6 in the i-hat minus 2 sine 48.6 j-hat feet. And we need a feet over here. So we'll work out those cross products now. So we have one, minus 1 feet per second i-hat still on the left. And then we have 3 omega ab cos 30. k cross i is a positive j. And then minus, because k cross j is a negative i, omega ab sine 30 times 3. Okay. In the i-hat. And then we'll have a plus 2 omega bc cos 48.6 in the j hat plus, because k cross minus j is a positive i, 2 omega bc sine 48.6 j hat. All right, so we have this vector equation. We have components in i and components in j, and we have two unknowns. Omega ab is an unknown, and omega bc is an unknown. Two unknowns, we need two equations. Fortunately, we can always split a vector equation into components. So we'll split this into components. And so our i hat equation is going to be minus 1 equals minus 3 omega ab sine 30 plus 2 omega bc sine 48.6. And our j hat equation is 0, so vc doesn't have a j component, equals 3 omega ab cos 30 plus 2 omega bc cos 48.6. Right. And now we solve the system equations. So from the j hat equation, we get minus 3 omega ab cos 30 equals 2 omega bc cos 48.6. And that gives us an expression, omega AB is going to be minus 2 cos 48.6 over 3 cos 30 times omega BC. And that equals minus 0 0.51 omega BC. Now we're going to take that expression and sub it into... sub it into our i equation, our i hat equation. And so we get minus 1 equals 3 sine 30 times minus 0 0.51 omega bc plus 2 omega bc sine 48.6. So that's minus 1 equals 0 0.76 omega bc plus 1.5 omega bc and that together equals 2.26 omega bc. If we solve for omega bc we find the scalar omega bc equals minus 0 0.44 rads per second. Now I said that the math would tell us whether we got the direction right and it's saying we didn't. So this is not the right direction for omega bc. And if you think about it physically it'll be clear that it's not. But the math, we didn't have to know that in advance, the math told us that. So we're asked for the angular velocity, velocity is a vector. We're gonna write omega bc, the vector, is minus 0.44 rads per second in the k-hat direction. Okay, so that's half our answers. 
And then from the, uh, uh, the j hat equation again, we know omega AB is minus 0.51 omega BC. That's going to be equal to 0.23 rads per second. So our scalar, this is telling us that we did get our direction right. So the, if we assign it positive, we get a positive scalar, we got our direction right. And so our uh, vector, omega AB, equals 0.23 rads per second in the k hat direction. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.